어른들이 안 되는 건 아니지만 은 어, 오늘 산업성기 메시지는 렘런트들이 좀 참고를 해야 됩니다. It's not that it's not going to work with the adults, but this week's business message must the remnants must keep that in mind. 앞으로 생기는 것이 새로운 지식과 산업을 제목이 그렇습니다. The today's title is new knowledge and business. 그러면 뭐가 생길까요? Then what will be made? 자, 앞으로는 쉽게 말하면 시공간을 초월하는 이런 산업이 나올 겁니다. In the future, there's going to be business that transcends time and space. 그래서 렘넌트들은 꼭 기억을 해야 되죠. And so remnants, you must remember this. 성경은 이미 시공간 초월에 대한 답을 줬기 때문에 쉽게 할수 있는데 이게 이제 산업화가 되는 겁니다. Then we can easily do this because the Bible already gives us the answer of transcendent time and space. But in one way, this becomes industrialized. 어, 며칠 전에 우리나라에서는 우주선을 띄웠습니다. Then just a few days ago, Korea shot a rocket. 그런 걸 띄울 수 있는 어, 시스템이 돼 있는 나라가 열세 군데밖에 없어요. And there's only 13 nations that has a system to be able to launch a rocket. 게 우리나라에서는 이제 일곱 번째 올린 겁니다. And so that was the seventh rocket that our nation launched. 어. It really is something. And accordingly, many new businesses will arise. And I'm sure that other nations will try to copy that. Ultimately, nations like North Korea will also try to do that. That means that all the world in the future will turn their direction towards space. Rightfully, they're going to look to that because we can't look beyond the limitations of our Earth right now. And so we're going to see a lot of these kinds of things forming. And so there are some things that our remnants must remember first. That right now when we say the world, we're mainly talking about this Earth. That we've got the big field of the universe left ahead of us. And then we saw that the Bible also uses this word. That we saw the heavenly powers or cosmic powers. And the Bible also talks about the throne. And so there are these tremendous worlds that transcend time and space. But if we know these things, there's no reason for us to remain bound by our present reality. And so remnants, open up your eyes and pray. That, for example, if you know as well as get a taste of the spiritual world, there's no reason for you to have your own assertions. That you can't have this. And if you see the realm of the universe or the realm of the throne, then you won't be lingering inside your present reality. And there is no truth in this world. Because things keep changing. And so the only truth is the gospel. And so remnants, you must open your eyes to this and really equip yourself with spiritual strength and power. That all of your assertions, they are going to change. That's why there's no way you can have division. If you really know the spiritual realm and if you really know the truth, there's no way you can have divisions. Emphasizing, oh no, this is right. No, it isn't. There's nothing right but the gospel. And so people keep on fighting over foolish things. And yes, they might advance a little bit. But to say there are divisions inside the church honestly doesn't make any sense. 
that in every place in the world, the only, you're always going to have pros and cons, but you're not, the, the only place that that does not exist is heaven. And the form of heaven is the church, and that's why that should not exist inside the church either. And so you see that there's going to be division in every world, but the only place where it doesn't exist is heaven. But the form of heaven is the church. And so if you really know what that is, you can seek out tremendous things there. And that's why we have to really commercialize the original things. And this is a special mission of our remnants as well as our business people. And if you don't do this, then the Nephilim organizations will continue to do this. Even these days, we see that because Christians are not able to create culture, the average people, they're talking about demons. It's really strange, isn't it? The pastors are trembling in fear, not wanting you to talk about demons, but the people in the world are talking about demons. And so I think that our pastors, their spiritual eyes are dim. They say, don't talk about demons. Why are you talking about that? No, you're talking about demonology. They put the standard only on Kim Gidong, and they're saying, don't talk about that. And so think about it. We see that they're talking about demon culture and completely making it into the uh, and commercializing that, and that is the three organizations. And we see the full-fledged Japan is doing that as well. And to what extent is Japan making it so that when you talk about demons and young kids, they really love that? It's really strange, isn't it? Who's behind the scenes in all that? It really is the work of Satan. And it sees the entire world, including the church. But the church is saying, oh no, don't talk about demons, don't talk about Satan. That who do you think is behind that? That it's a fearsome thing. And so remnants, you need to know that and you have to industrialize the original things. That this is your mission to save them. Only humankind was created in God's image. And even regarding healing, you must address this. And then he told us to conquer and rule. And also gave us power. That he breathed his breath of life into us. And if we don't know these kind of things, then the things on the opposite side will continue to come out. That you know how much they're coming out these days. That immediately you turn on the YouTube, and these people, they're so smart. They send out programs of helping you sleep better. We see so much of that. Knowing that people are not able to sleep very well, they have these programs so that you can sleep. That I tried turning that on, and actually it woke me up. That I couldn't sleep because it was so noisy. You know, noises of rain and things like that that help you go to sleep. Anyway, these people really are outstanding. They're making all these things that we never even thought of. And they have these things where you put it over your eyes and you can actually see things. It's greatly advanced. That we have to seek out our stolen business. And in one way, they took it so well. They stole everything with Genesis 3, verse 4, and 5. That being separated from God, they made it so that you only have your own assertions. As you well know, what's more fearsome is this, Genesis 6. That's why someone once wrote, the reason why the Freemasons do not disappear. I don't know 
I don't know if a believer wrote that, but I saw this on an average newspaper. They really wrote it well. They said the Freemasons will not disappear. Now, just like a report, they had truly analyzed it, not that they were criticizing or on the side of the Freemasons. And there this person used this word. That every single day the Freemasons get together and they do a possession movement. And those who have not gone to that level are not a true member of the Freemasons. And the many visible activities that they have, that's not the real, that's not what really the Freemasons do. If you want to become a real Freemason, then you have to go to that level. Now, once you reach that level, you can't escape. In that way, it's a fearsome strategy they're using. That's why you must remember. Then what does it mean that we have to really industrialize the original things? That they go and seek out all the famous celebrities. And also they seek out the outstanding athletes. That if they don't come looking, if they don't come looking for you, then just realize that you're not that outstanding. They go to all the outstanding people. And especially they approach a lot of the golf players. They approach the golfers and say, oh, you have to do the energy or the chi movement. And almost everyone is taken in by that. And so all of us running our businesses and industries, what must we think about? That planting potatoes and planting sweet potatoes is not going to work with just that. And because that wasn't working, they actually had machines that were doing that. Now we've gone beyond that age. Now the digital age has come. But it goes beyond that these days. In the future, we're going to reach out more towards the universe, semiconductors. When that happens, those of you who are older, you know, you can just live out your life and then pass on. But our young generation must prepare. So you must remember. And so in this way, they have completely destroyed everything. And so what came from here is Genesis 3, verse 16 through 20. Suffering had no choice but to come. Suffering continues on. First of all, we have the solution. That's why God told us to believe, because we cannot solve it by our abilities. Because God did it, we believe that. And it's, an, it's a word that's found only in the Bible. That it can't exist anywhere else. It is the offspring of a woman who will crush or bruise the head of the serpent. That means this. A normal average person cannot crush Satan's head. And so the offspring of man cannot crush Satan's head. But what can is the offspring of woman. But there are also heresies that abuse this. And they say the offspring of woman, they say, oh, so God and all the deities must be female. And strangely, it seems that the Catholic Catholicism has been tainted by that. That's why they keep on emphasizing Mary. Simply put, it means that Christ, who is not the offspring of either man, that has nothing to do with man or woman, is going to come and crush Satan's, Satan's head. Because the times are urgent, you have to build the ark and enter into the ark. And ultimately, that's the first command that God gave to Abraham. And even here, we see something tremendous. 
복을 받게 될. It says through you all nations will be blessed. 깜깜한 단어죠. 다이 아브라함에게는. But to Abraham it seemed like such a distant thing. 그러나 나중에 알게 됐어요. But later on he realized. 알게 되는 그날로부터 많은 응답들이 오기 시작. And from the day that he realized many answers came to him. 아브라함이 받은 응답을 이루 말할 수가 없죠. And the answer that Abraham received it's inexpressible in words. 자, 이제 우리 산업인들이 이 우리 일세들은 이 기성 세대는 이걸 하고 이제 기도할 수밖에 없어. Our business people, our first generation, our adults have no choice but to pray about this. 그리고 우리 렘넌트도 이걸 실제로 산업화시켜야 돼. And our remnants must actually industrialize this. 뭐 틀림 없으니까요. Then undoubtedly, 영적 문제를 해결하는 산업. That we have to have the industrialization, industrialization of solving the spiritual problems. And that's what you must do in the upcoming age. That what's ridiculous is that these three organizations have created all these spiritual problems, and now they're doing things to solve those problems. That all of the things that we see out there right now are made by the three organizations. 전 세계에 지금 우상이라든지 이런 신전 이런 걸로 온 영적 문제가 너무 많아. There are all too many spiritual problems all over the world that have come because of the shrines as well as the idols. 앞으로 이걸 치유하는 그런 산업화가 되어야 되는 겁니다. In the future, we need to have the industrialization that really heals this. 너무 멀리 있는 것처럼 들려지는데. That perhaps it sounds very distant from you, but honestly speaking, the three organizations have already plowed into this. And so not even the Japanese people know. Japanese people have made shrines everywhere, but they don't know why spiritual problems keep coming to their nation. And in the future, if you actually talk about this, then it goes against the law because they pass a law about non-talk, non-religious discrimination. And so we can't even relay the words that's in the Bible because by law they're prohibiting us. They say all religions are the same. Don't speak that way. And so they've made this tremendous falsehood, and they're ruining the world with that. And in Nephilim, they're not just making these shrines; they're making these kinds of synagogues, and they're spreading it all over the world. They have their lodges. That's why our remnant movement, RUTC movement, are so important. So, after our remnant is born, then the whole world will be affected by the RUTC movement. And so, we can pretty much predict that as our remnants arise, we're going to raise the remnant movement and the RUTC movement worldwide. So, we're going to raise the remnant movement and the RUTC movement worldwide. So, we're going to raise the remnant movement and the RUTC movement worldwide. So, we're going to raise the remnant movement and the RUTC movement worldwide. So, we're going to raise the remnant movement and the RUTC movement worldwide. So, we're going to raise the remnant movement and the RUTC movement worldwide. So, we're going to raise the remnant movement and the RUTC movement worldwide. So, we're going to raise the remnant movement and the RUTC movement worldwide. So, we're going to raise the And mainly, it's the Jewish people that have the synagogues, and the Freemasons that have the lodges. And we've actually been there. And having been there, one common trait is that they have many small rooms. But the sizes are all the same. And because it's America, they had the occupancy limits. And but when you vaguely look at it, it's all the same. 그 똑같은 방에 사람들이 계속 모인다는 말이. What that means is in all those similar rooms, people continue to gather. 그래서 이 지금 이 네피림 운동을 계속하는. And they keep on doing the Nephilim movement. 이런 식으로 지금 가고 있기 때문에 우리 이들을 살릴 수 있는 산업화가 렘넌트에게 특별한 하나님의 명령입니다. And because we must save them, God's particular command to our remnants is to really industrialize this. 이 사람들이 이제. Now these people are making their masterpieces and globalizing that. They're doing it in so de such detail. As you well know, through movies or music, they continue to create that. Because it's the quickest and easiest way to seize the young generation. 
And so, a hundred years ago, they prophesied that we can steal all their hearts in a hundred years. I think about it, the church can't even think about that, but an outstanding individual like the BTS group comes out and they completely seize that. And they're continuing to raise them. Then why would anyone call that group to the UN, but they're invited to the UN? Then our nation doesn't even know how important that is and say, oh, they're just being called baby to the blue house. But think about it. Why would they be invited to the UN? And of their masterpieces, the most influential is music. There's no way we cannot remember the fact that an angel in charge of music became corrupt and turned into Satan. And it's spreading all over the world, and amazingly, the music of our nation is seizing the world. And so if it's not the remnants, then nobody else can do this. That's why our remnants must really hold to the covenant and pray. That we have to industrialize our new, the new transiting time and space. And that is why our remnants must really study media. That in the future, when your time comes, we're not even going to commission missionaries. There's no need for that anymore. Why? Because you can connect immediately. And these days, it's really hard to connect with people. But you're going to create things where it's going to be better to meeting them that way than meeting them face to face. Then you don't actually have to go. That kind of age is coming. And so because of this pandemic, we've come into an un- un- untact or a contact-free age, and we've realized many things. That because of COVID-19, we were able to organize many things. And so we really need to pray for this throughout the nation. The organizing many things starting from before the pandemic, the thought that I have these days is that we have to make all these masterpieces so that our remnants can fully run with it. And you need to understand that. And so as you well know, whenever you see our videos, we have a tarapang mark on them. That what that means is that it's registered. And so perhaps you may know it, but you may not really be aware, but the YouTube age is coming. And the companies in charge of YouTube, because they're making money off of that, they're also creating other things. And so please understand what we're doing. That there was one person in America who wanted to take the lyrics that I did and wanted to add piano music to that. And my yeah, lyrics really are great. And it, it's a male person, and he really is, is, is a wonderful pianist. The issue is that he took that and then he registered in his own name. That he registered it. And if we want to listen to that, we got to pay for it. And if he doesn't give it to us, we can't receive it. But our members don't understand these words at all. That's why we're telling you not to rashly do things until we organize everything. And people are publishing all kinds of books with our material, and we don't even know what the content is, and that's why other organizations are attacking us with that. Later on, what kind of age will come? An age will come where on the YouTube, you can only put up things that have been copyrighted, and then we will lose hold of all the things that we have. 
And so you have to discern how this age is flowing. In the future, the personal, individual broadcasts are going to be more popular. And the issue is that if you make it this way, it will trend. And so 10 years ago, we said that, that an age of individual broadcast will come, and that age has come, the age of the YouTubes. That if we're not careful, we're going to lose hold of everything. And because that has come, we need to organize and prepare everything for our posterity. In Genesis 12, God said that all nations will be blessed through you. And he could not understand this at all. But one day in the midst of great suffering, Abraham realizes. From this point on, very importantly, he began to build an altar. It says, heaven and earth. He began to build an altar that enjoys these things. Not that he simply prayed, but holding on to the covenant, he built an altar. And so in Genesis 14, verses 14 to 18, simply put, God restored to him the economy of light. And there is the economy of darkness, but God restored the economy of light. And we see something very important here. That Abraham gives tithe to Melchizedek. And we see that contact comes out even at this time. Back then, they didn't have worship. They didn't have a church. That the tie that you give enables you to enjoy the blessing of world evangelization, so do that. Let us say, for example, that you come into great finances, then your tithe will be that much greater. And that's how you save the world. That's the economy of light. That your church offering, that is the economy of light. And if you don't give offering, then the church can't do anything. Of course, God is going to be moving, but in moving the world, you need finances. And so the finance and economy that Abraham gave, that was the economy of light. So remnants, you must remember starting now. And so remnants, whether you go into business or not, you're starting out, even in your prayers, begin giving offering. That you must do that. With your future in mind, you must do world evangelism. So study what offering is. Money and finances are two different things. Money is simply a token. That you need that kind of token or a sign. When you want to buy something, you ask, how much is this? At first, first they were saying, oh, give me this and I'll give you two yams for that. And there was an age where we actually did that, but it doesn't work. We needed some kind of token. Not that we're just knowing that, we need to know economy. Economy is talking about the system. Our remnants need to study that. Then how the world is moving, we didn't know that. Even now in our nation, when you're talking about brand name or luxury brands, then our nation is lagging behind. The developed nations, they've completely seized the world with these brand names. Then one ways, they, people are standing in line to buy that. Starting with watches as well as clothing, and, and these things, people have completely seized that market. 
뭐 신세계 백화점 이런 데 가서 가방을 제일 좋은 걸 사다 해 보세요. 없습니다, 일단. Let us say for example that you go to the s h i n s e k e department store in the middle of Seoul and you're looking for a luxury bag, they don't have it. 롤렉스가 1년에 60만 개 나와요. They say they're they produce 60,000 Rolex watches a year. 60만 개 나오는데 없어요. They, they say 60,000 but they don't have enough to sell. 아니, 이놈 가서 살라고 하면 줄 서야 되는데 줄이 밀려 있어. Then you go there to really stand on line to buy it and there are people are standing on line to buy it. 저기 얘기 하나는 이 사람들이 경제 시스템이 기가 차게 뛰어난 거야. And the reason why I'm saying that because these people's finance system is amazing. 파텍 필립은 6만 개 만들어. 파텍 필립 makes 60,000. They only make 60,000. 6만 개 만드니까 전 세계다가 보급을 하는 거야. They make 60,000 while Rolex makes 600,000 and they spread that all over the world. That's their strategy. 그건 아무도 기다리는 겁니다. Then people wait for another patch to come out. 기다리다 보니까 어떻게 기다려야 됩니까? And think about it. They're waitlisted and how must they wait? There's no other method. And that is why there are these buyers who go around and buy that. Now the companies know that there are these middle buyers. And usually that's who they hand this off to. And they have a lot of commission off of that. And they have a lot of commission off of that. And for example, let's say that you've got a one Patek Philip watch, and they say that it's almost about forty thousand dollars. 시중에 얼마 팔냐? 일억 삼천에 팔. Then to what extent are they going to say they add up? They make about three times that much. 그런 정도로요. Now that's how expensive they make it. 이 사람들이 막 기가 찬 경제 시스템을. Now these people have an amazing financial system. 우리나라 그 사람들 막막 달라붙잖아요. 이게 전 세계로 그렇고. And so people all over the world were standing in line to buy that, and they're distributing this all over the world. 그래서 렘들은 경제 공부도 해야 된다. And so remnants, you need to study economy as well. 빛의 경제를 가지고 세계를 움직이. Only then can you move the world with the economy of light. 이 은약을 잡았네 하나님이 당장에 뭐라고 약속해. And so in holding onto this covenant, what does God immediately promise? 창세기 15장 1절 7절을 보면 이렇게 나왔어요. In Genesis 15 verses 1 through 7, it says this. 내가 너의 상급이고 내가 너의 방패다. That I am your great reward and your shield. 하나님 그렇게. That's what God says. 그래서 이 축복을 그대로 이삭에게 전달해. And then this blessing is related exactly that way to Isaac. 창세기 22장 1절 21절은 모리아 산에서 일어난. Genesis 22 verse 1 to 21 is what took place on Mount Moriah. 그래서 이게 굉장히 중요한 게 뭡니까? And so what's very important here? So that he would never forget that it was the ram. That the ram instead of Isaac. That why does Isaac have to die? That's what it means to be a man. That you have no choice but to be that way when you have separated from God. But the moment he was about to die, God provided a ram. And so he would never forget that. And so God gave a hundredfold blessing to Isaac. And God granted the fountainhead to Isaac. And God gave to Isaac the blessing of Rehoboth. That's the answer you will receive. And if you realize that's what happens. And so we need these kinds of business people. 예를 든다면 빌 게이츠가 말이요. 아, 오직 그리스도구나. That for example, let us say that Bill Gates says, "Oh, it's only Christ." If he realized that, then what would happen? 난리 나는 거예요. Then it really would be an uproar. 저, 어, 뭐, 저 다른 나라 힘 나라 막몇 수십 조를 좀 기부하잖아요, 이제 빌 게이츠. I think about Bill Gates. He gives millions of dollars in donations to other nations. 그래서 이 확실한 이 복음을 후대에게 탁 전달 수 있는. And so you can relay this sure gospel to the next generation. 이게 말하면 이제 각인시킨 겁니다. Simply put, you are imprinting this. 여기에 우리 렘넌트들이 받아야 될 축복이고 여러분이 전달해 줘야 될 내용. That this is the blessing that you must receive and what you must relay to our remnants to receive. 어떻게 이게 가능하겠냐? Then how is this possible? 그래서 불가능은 저 하나님 앞에는 없습니다. And so there's nothing that's impossible in front of God. 당장 여러분이 지금 어디 걸린 걸까? 문제, 시험, 위기 이 앞에 걸리는 거예요. Immediately, what are you stuck in? You are stuck in problems as well as trials and conflicts. 문제가 오고 시험이 오고 갈등이 생기고 위기가 생기고 
And think about it here. Problems, you fall into trials, you face conflicts, and you face crises. That you have to find your complete answer here. And if you find the answer, then you can have renewal and it becomes your golden opportunity. And so there's only this to do in our fields. These blessings are bound to come, but we're all stuck there and we die there. And so no matter what the case, our remnants who are going to move the next generation church don't fall into these things. Oh, the remnants are crumbling because the adults are having so much division. No, that's not what the remnant does. There's no reason to crumble. You must remember. Oh, the remnants are shaking because the adults as well as the parents are doing things wrong. No, that's not what it means to be a remnant. And so before these kinds of present realities, you must always find those three answers. And you must enjoy. What must you enjoy? God's kingdom. This power is tremendous. So remnants, you must remember. And also challenge towards recreation. Don't prepare 100%, prepare 300%. Then 100%, you have to do that, you have to prepare yourself. More importantly, you have to prepare 100% regarding your target. And the rest? And prepare so that whoever looks at it knows how objective this is and it can become globalized. So don't just prepare, prepare 300%. Challenge towards that. Only then can you save the world. And very easily you can triumph. And so please remember this, 300%. Not 100%, 300%. And Freemasons, when they open up even one bakery, they check that location for several months. They check that for several months. How many people pass by? How many cars stop there? Then what is the age group? And the stores they made all over the world, every place you go, it's a little bit different. And so one time I went into one of their stores in Hawaii with my grandchildren, and as soon as they went in, they gave these kids candy that really made the kids so excited. That means they already know that many kids pass through there. And whatever these people do, it unconditionally succeeds. But Christians, it seems like anything they do, it fails. There's too many cases like that. That we always have the opening services, but we never have closing services. We're always open having new, new, new business opening services. People don't prepare. You've got to do it this way. And so three organizations do it this way. And with their finances, they've seized the entire world. The Christians, they think that even just going to worship is hard enough, but these people, after they finish everything, they gather once again. Then one remnant cowed me. It's a passage, I just listened to your sermon, but when I looked at the field, I was so shocked. At the place where he was doing an internship was a Jewish organization. And just as I had said, after they finish everything, it's late at night, but still they gather. So they put the Jewish members gathered together. And there they had their prayer meeting. And so he called on them and he said, can I participate? And they said he could. And so he participated there. And he told me that he was able to communicate with those people very well, so he decided to stay a little bit longer. And I told him it's a very good opportunity, so learn a lot. That's what they do. So remnants, you must remember this. 
that all of our answers come from here. And this is how you prepare and then you challenge. You must restore the economy light to really save the churches. That you must restore the economy light so that servants of the Lord can fully do that ministry. Hold to that as your covenant. And our adult business view really places firmly in your heart that you must teach us to the remnants. It's a battle. A battle over our next generation. May we begin the blessing, the opportunity, and the prayers to really prepare for the next generation in the future. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be a solution to all problems. And the infinite love of God our Father. And the working of the Holy Spirit. Upon our business people who will save the future. And our remnants will save all the world. Be both now and always forever. Amen.